Let's stop the shaming and blaming. Oprah is making her big return to television, and today, an exclusive first look at the media legend tackling a topic so personal to millions of Americans. All of a sudden, I took this medication, and, and it felt like I was free. In tonight's an Oprah special, Shame, Blame, and the Weight Loss Revolution on ABC, she sits down with medical experts and everyday people who are using prescription drugs to find their way to health. I was diagnosed with diabetes. My labs and blood work were scary. And I remember thinking to myself, thinking like, this is the way I was born, and this is the way I'm going to die. How are your numbers today? Completely normal. Everything is in complete normal range. Like, wow. The project's goal, to release the shame, judgment, and stigma around weight. Number one thing I hope people come away with is knowing that it's a disease and it's in the brain. Nearly 74% of adults over 20 years old in the U.S. are overweight or obese. For decades, the 70-year-old entertainment mogul took us on her journey with weight. It is amazing to me that I can't lift it, but I used to carry it around every day. In 2015, Oprah became an ambassador for Weight Watchers. I love bread. Until earlier this month, when she announced that she was leaving the board after sharing she, too, was taking similar weight loss drugs. Like Maggie, a pre-diabetic, she became one of the first teenagers to be prescribed one of the medications. I had um, a healthcare professional at one point tell me that she would be 500 pounds by the time she was 16 and that she would die. Oprah's return to the small screen comes almost 13 years after we said goodbye to the Oprah Winfrey show. <laughs> But tonight's TV event will likely bring on the nostalgia with a nearly identical set and a live studio audience. For the people who think that this could be the relief and support and freedom that you've been looking for your whole life, bless you because there is space for all points of view. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.